What's going on, family? What's going on? I want to come back on and to discuss an, another subject with you guys. Um, this is going to be pretty uh, in-depth. So I'm going to need you guys to, to pay attention to what I'm really saying here. It's going to be pretty in-depth. Uh, it's a lot of knowledge that goes into uh, this subject. But I'm going to keep it right there so you can understand what I'm saying. Um, the subject of this, of, of the subject of this video is, how is Satan the God of this world? How is Satan the God of this world? The Bible says Satan, the God of this world. It, it speaks about Satan being the God of this world. Let me read this. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 4, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. And it says, In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe it not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. It says, In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe it not. So, the Bible is referring to Satan, that he is the God of this world, and he blinds the minds of those who don't believe in God and don't believe in anything, basically. Um, guys, in the beginning when God created man, he said, let us, the Trinity, let us go and make man in our image. God said, let us Go and make man in our image in the beginning. So we was made in the image of God. Not this body, not our soul, but our spirit. We were spirit men. We were spirit men. When God made Adam, Adam was a spirit man. He had no awareness of his human body. He had no awareness of his human, bo his human body. He was totally spirit. Made in the image of God. He had a glory suit on. Man was never supposed to die, guys. Oh, I got to bring you up. I got to bring you up. Man was never supposed to die. Okay? Man was supposed to be immortal. To live forever. Just like God. But Adam disobeyed God and ate from the tree of life. And he... He, he lost that power. As we know in the Garden of Eden, he turned that power over to the enemy, Lucifer, the fallen angel. He was a, Lucifer is a fallen angel. They call him Satan of today. He's a fallen angel. He turned that power over to Lucifer, the fallen angel. And it's in the Bible, you can see where when he turned his power, when he turned his godhood over, he turned it over to Lucifer. And Lucifer became the God of this world. And God went on to tell Satan that it's going to be a day when uh, that same seed uh, that, you, that, that, that you curse is going, to, is going to step on your head. It's going to step on your head, which was Jesus Christ. Everything that Adam lost in the garden, Jesus, came, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ came back and reclaimed it. Everything that, he, that Adam lost, Jesus came back and took everything back that Adam lost to the point where the, the New Testament called Jesus the last Adam. Jesus is, is referred to the last Adam. Jesus came back to show us how we're supposed to be moving in this earth. We was made in the image of God. We, we were supposed to be functioning like, like our Father God. We were supposed to be acting like our Father God. It's a scripture here, I think it's, it's in Ephesians, where it says that, imitate me, children. God told his children to imitate him. Basically, watch what he do, and we, we're supposed to do it. If you go read all through the Bible, you can see where Jesus was, 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 was showing his disciples how to move like him. It's another scripture here I want to read. This is Psalms 82. 
This is Psalms 82. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 1. Psalms 82, verse 1. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, and God judges among the gods. Read that again. God standeth in the, in the con congregation of the mighty, and God, he judges among the gods. Those gods are us. The gods, he, who God, God is judging the gods, that means he's judging us. Let me keep reading. How long will he judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? How long shall we continue to, to, to accept this, wicked, this wickedness that's going on in the world? He's talking about us. Defend the poor and the fatherless and do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hands of the wicked. It goes on to say that I have said, God said, that ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. God said that we are gods made in his image. And we are his children. That's what this scripture is saying. Psalms 82. Go read it for yourself. But because you don't know who you are, because of lack of knowledge, this is what God's saying, you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. God said, if you, if you don't accept who you are, you're going to die like a man. Psalms 82. Go read that whole thing. You can read how many translations you want to read it, but it says what it says. God said, ye are gods made in his image. This word you got to come from down here. And you got, I got to raise your level of thinking. You are a God, small God, made in the image of God. Because you are a child of God. If you got a prince and you got a king, the prince is going to one day be the king. The king is supposed to teach the prince how to move like him. Because he's the father, the king is the father, and the prince is the son. That's why Jesus is the prince of peace. And you got peace in your spirit. You're made in the image of God. I wrote a book that is pretty broad. And the name of my book is The Walking, Talking Gods. And I referred that book back to what Psalm 82 is saying. Jesus said that ye are gods. You are God. Made in the image of God. Supposed to be doing what God called you to do. You're supposed to be having, taking dominion over this world. Ye are gods. The Bible said Satan is the God of this world. The reason it says that was because Adam transferred his godhood over to Satan in the Garden of Eden. But Jesus came and took everything that Satan took from Adam. Now Jesus is the last Adam. But in Jesus, he, we, we, can, we can be brought in as, as, as sons now and be connected back to the Father in heaven. Satan don't want you to know your true identity. He don't want you to know who you really is. You are made in the image of God. You are the sons of God, the daughters of God. And the Bible says, imitate me, my children, and do as I do. You're supposed to be declaring and decreeing. You're supposed to be telling the wicked to go back to the pits of hell from which it came. You're supposed to be taking dominion over this earth. Preaching the kingdom of God everywhere you go. This is the knowledge that they don't want you to know anything. They don't want you to know anything about this type of knowledge. Because what it does is, it elevates your thinking. The Bible said, if you don't realize who you are, you're going to die like men. That's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to die like a normal, regular man. But you are the, you are the sons of God. You're supposed to be taking dominion over this earth. Satan don't want you to know your true identity. You are the son of God. The sons and the daughters of God. You're supposed to be doing just like Jesus. Jesus said, greater works you shall do than me. Psalms 82, 
Start declaring and decreeing the word of God of your life. And you shall go from glory to glory in the same image as the Son, Jesus Christ. From glory to glory. Start declaring the word of God of your life. I don't want to take too much of the time. I love you. Get in the word and study. Go read Psalms 82. Get to know your true identity in Christ and be who God have called you to be. I love you. Until next time.